Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from Zev. Uh, he asks for my comments on the series of sermons given by St. John Chrysostom when he was still in Antioch, uh, where, he, uh, uh, where he had a number of sermons against the Jews and the Judaizing Christians. Um, so Zev is basically asking how is this man a saint? Uh, because uh, because um, he had some controversial statements, uh, such as, um, for example, Saint John uh, quotes uh, uh, quotes uh, the Old Testament, where the Lord Himself uh, compares Israel to obstinate kaifer, and uh, obstinate kaifers are only fit for slaughter, and then he connects this with the parable of the minas. Uh, where the king uh, orders his enemies to be brought before him and slaughtered. Thank you for your question, Zev. By the way, that snapping sound was me closing the marker. Um, you know, this is one of those things where uh, politics and religion have mixed quite, uh, quite unfortunately. Uh, why? Well, uh, there are multiple multiple shades of this. First, let us see what uh, what uh, what Saint John is actually saying. Uh, first of all, his uh, his uh, soul uh, his soul intent is a religious one. You know, uh, he isn't going out there to slaughter the Jews or anything of the kind. Uh, which, <laughs> which after all the atrocities of the twentieth twentieth uh, century, it may seem like that, but trust me, he didn't. Uh, he participated in no pogroms or anything. Uh, his aim is strictly spiritual, and that is uh, to affirm the support, uh, superiority of uh, 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 Christianity over Judaism, uh, and to. And to prevent Christians from partaking in uh, other religions' rights, you will have many similar, you know, you will have many similar sermons against paganism, for example. But these don't get as much uh, attention because simply uh, uh, there were there were there uh, there was no modern Holocaust of the of the pagans. So uh, first of all, his uh, his aim is strictly religious one. Uh, second. Um, it is interesting that uh, you quoted uh, the very thing that uh, I also saw in Wikipedia as regards to as regards to these sermons, uh, and I want to emphasize something regarding the Christian scripture, the parable of the minas, uh, where the king gives his sermons minas, that is silver pieces, for them to use. And to uh, and to obtain profit while he's away, is uh, is an eschatological parable. A parable that is uh, we, uh, what the parable is saying in very short terms is uh, that we should work with the gifts that the Lord has given us, and that uh, we we are meant to uh, increase them. Those uh, who now those who don't increase uh, will be uh, increase Lord's gifts will be punished. But those who oppose the Lord completely will be slaughtered, or to simply put it in, pl plainly, will go to hell. That parable is not meant to, uh, you know, justify some uh, sort of uh, Christian violence. Um, you know, it is interesting that Sam Harris, uh, I do think that for the most part he has some sense of morals and anything, uh, but uh, in this case... Um, he has used that verse to uh, uh, to claim that uh, Christians are violent, and uh, he has used this part of the New Testament like, uh, you see, Christians are just as violent as, I don't know, M Muslims or anything, but here it is simply not true. Uh, Christ never, never orders the murder of anyone, <laughs> Jew or anyone else, um, and that, that is what needs to be emphasized big, big time. Um, um, what else? Uh, 
so you need to be careful with these quotes, you know, because context is key. Uh, I don't think that in the history of Christianity uh, anyone has used this, uh, you know, to justify murder of anyone. And if they did, well, that's... <laughs> you're doing Christianity wrong. I don't know what to say as regards to that. Um, uh, however, l l let's go for uh, let's go further. Uh, these uh, these sermons can be used, you know, in a way to to justify anti-Semitism, you know, bigotry and anything. But again, that is using these sermons way way outside of their context that isn't what they're meant uh, also uh, there is one big thing and that is that in earlier times of course you had no concept of political correctness um, uh, so this kind of sermon that St. John had every religion Judaism included had very similar things about everybody else Christians, uh, you know, had fiery sermons against pagans, against uh, Jews, against Muslims. Muslims had against Jews, Christians, pagans. Pagans had against Jews, Christians, and Muslims. And Jews had against Christians, Muslims, and pagans. And it's, you know, a whirlpool of don't do what they do. And, of course, sometimes uh, stricter language will be used. And sometimes such stricter language will be used for <laughs> unwholesome means, like, you know, pogroms, destruction, desecration of churches, burning down of mosques, whatever, you, you know, take your pick. Um, us humans are, you know, very apt at uh, uh, jumping to wrong conclusions and misapplying uh, what our respective gods ordered us to. So, uh, you know, uh, if somebody reads this, these sermons today, uh, I would say that it is, um, uh, you know, they're doing it for some other reason in absolute majority of cases, uh, except, uh, uh, in absolute majority of cases, they're doing it for some other reason uh, than admiring John Chrysostom, his, uh, uh, his uh, skill at homiletics, and so on. Um, <laughs> majority of Christians today, unlike those, uh, unlike those, um, unlike those uh, at Antioch at the time, are simply not tempted you know, to practice Jewish rites or anything. Uh, but there are some who like to do that, Messianic Jews, and maybe they should give these sermons a read, you know? Not for anti-Semitic reasons. That is like... <laughs> that is not how you do, do these things. I hope I was of some use to you. So, uh, the, um, the primary point I'm trying to make is uh, these sermons should be... Uh, should be read in their historical context, uh, which is uh, a bishop ordering his flock not to, uh, to participate in uh, others, uh, other religions' festivities. And, you know, <laughs> um, he could have given nearly identical sermon on yoga, on Buddhism, or anything. So, take it, take it for what it is. Bye!